Welcome back to Hefner Kitchen and Rangers Hockey on Rogers TV. At the end of two periods of play, the Rangers lead by a score of two to nothing. If you saw the pregame ceremony and the ceremonial puck drop, you saw that we celebrated International Women's Day. Well, I am thrilled to be joined by Patrice Whiffen from the Kitchener Rangers. And Patrice, as the game operations manager, you do so much here, but I listened to an interview, a radio interview you did today, and one line stuck out with me, and it's something I've said and heard many times, that hockey is no longer just an old boys club. As a woman working in hockey, what are some of the, the struggles that you deal with, and how much do you love working for a team that embraces a celebration like tonight? I will start with your second question first. I think the Kitchener Rangers have done an incredible job of being a really inclusive organization, very in, uh, progressive, whether that's embracing the LGBTQ plus community, uh, the visible minorities and embracing diversity, but also of course embracing women. We have a lot of women within our front office staff and on, on the hockey operations side, some of whom could be here tonight, some of whom couldn't. But um, I think it's amazing to be part of an organization that really embraces and celebrates women and their ideas, their thoughts, their contributions, all that sort of stuff is really important. Um, in terms of some of the challenges that I face, not every organization is like that. There's a lot of growth that can still happen within this industry, and I think um, other teams can look to the Kitchener Rangers organization as far as what they're doing to really embrace women and create an opportunity and a platform for women to contribute because we've got great ideas, we've got passion for the game, and uh, it's been a lot of fun being here for the past two seasons and really excited about tonight. At the end of the day, Patrice, you and I might look different right here on camera, but you didn't play hockey professionally, I didn't play hockey professionally, and that's really the only difference between us. So, you know, I'm not in the organization, but what can men like me do out there to, to be champions of this cause and help out? That's exactly it. Be a champion of the women that you work with. Provide them with opportunities to either get involved in different uh, aspects of the sports industry or provide their opinion or get involved in some way to really shape that culture and that fan experience. I think uh, being a champion, providing those platforms, and being an ally is a really important thing, whether that's, again, within the LGBTQ plus community, within uh, diversity, or within women in sport. I think all of those sorts of things all really play in together. So, you know, we're down here and we're in the intermission. You've got some of your event staff down here. Chantel's here and Carly's here and Ainsley's here and Abby's working over there. And I know one day these women that work with you, I'm going to interview them someday and they're going to talk about their inspirations in sport and I'm going to hear your name. So how, who was the inspiration for you when you were getting started? Oh man, there's so many incredible women within the sport world who have paved the way to uh, provide opportunities for myself. Uh, I think growing up, I really looked to Christine Simpson. I love her as a media broadcaster. I think she is so talented at what she does and has always sort of broken down barriers for women in the sport media world. So from, from that side of things, I think she's been incredible. Uh, Shannon Hosford with uh, MLSC, she is a CMO there and she, again, is a trailblazer within the uh, sports organization. She's running the Raptors, she's running the Leafs, she's, you you know, a, a massive boss in, in that realm. And so I definitely look to those women, but then I also look to my peers and know that there are so many incredible women that I get a chance to work with within the Kitchener Rangers organization, Alex, Megan, Christy, Olivia, um, the, the list goes on and on. Uh, and uh, really, really proud to have a great network of women around me. One last question for you, Patrice. I know there's some young girl out there watching this t broadcast tonight or here at a game when you're up on the screen as the in-game host, some five or six year old girl that looks up and says, I want to do that. What's your message to that girl when she sees you? Oh my gosh, of course you can do it. Absolutely. Uh, put yourself out there, get experience, volunteer, meet people. You know, come up to me if you're at a game. I would love to meet you. And uh, again, it's it's really great to have male allies within the sport world, but it's also really great to have female allies within the sport world and those who can, you know, connect you and get you involved and sort of be your champion as well and, and sort of you know, we know the struggles that you've been through or, or that you may face. So um, definitely you can do it. I, I challenge everyone that wants to do it, go for it. There's going to be more and more spaces for women within this industry and I can't wait to see what, what comes next. It's a natural progression for the women to support each other, but to the men out there, as Patrice said, we can be champions of this cause. When there's a you can play game, we can be allies. We can all do better. Patrice, enjoy International Women's Day tomorrow and it's a pleasure to call you a colleague and a friend. Thank you, Sean. Really appreciate it. Right back at you. Lots more to come. You're watching Hefner Kitchen Rangers Hockey on Rogers TV.